Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm here today to review Heg, what is it? Hengstenberg Crunchy Gherkins. This is a hot and spicy gherkin. Number one uh, pickle in Germany. This is from Germany. Uh, made in Germany. Ported from Germany. It says, uh, it's all in German right there. I was in Germany for two years when I was in the military. I got my wonderful uh, army hat on I got from the Patriot store. So let's go ahead and open these up. These are kindly sent to me by my friend Travis Pass store. These have a oh my god. Wait a second. Anything to tap on these. Oh. See, that's what happens when you do things like <laughs> Sometimes these pickles, odd. You need Jaws of Life to take these off with. I was always a tap, not hard. People say they break it that way. Tap to loosen up. Jesus Christ. I know Amber yelled at me for using Lord's name in vain at one time in a video. Oh, there you go. I got it. See, I mean, I, you know, I told, like, when in school, you know, I found a way to, we used to have a couple things. We used to have that thing, grandmother had, like, that big uh, rubber triangle thing, and that works, that it's over there, I didn't get it. Um, one thing I found out about it, you just tap with a knife around, or something like this. And I told one kid, to go, oh, and I did it, I broke it. Oh, no, I do it. Well, Christ, how hard are you hitting it? You don't hit that hard. All right, so I got it open. So let's try these out. It smells really good. Travis, thank you, Travis, for sending these to me. Like a real little gherkin right there. Really tangy. Feel the heat in the bag of your throat. At first, with the best sweetness with the pickle. Then you start to feel them in the back of your throat. The heat builds up slowly. I want to thank my buddy at Travis Pastor for sending these to me. I'll have one more before I render my verdict. I remember with these tiny pills of gherkins and my grandmother's. You know, my. I know I complain about my grandma sometimes, but I mean, when we went there, the food was always good. I never. I don't think I've ever had anything bad from my grandmother's. Um, the food she made was always good, usually. And I know my mother's sister always complained saying it was the same thing almost every time. It's like, well, that's something to look forward to, is something. And she had a. Along with the main food, she had a relish tray out. And she had the gherkins, but she had the sweet ones. Super sweet ones. Not these ones. These are really, really good. These are 10 out of 10. I want to thank you, Travis, for sending these to me. Because he's like my... Like a, he, said, he even said it himself a... My pickle guy, he's a pickleholic. And who is, I love pickles. One thing I don't understand about some food reviewers, some food reviewers, they hate tomatoes. Most, that's most of them. I love tomatoes. As long as it's not like a stringy. It was like onions. You don't want a, onion, a stringy onion. Like, yeah, the sound. Ugh. I mean, a fr fresh, decent onion. Onion, sorry. Onion. Or, I mean, a fresh tomato. That one place... At the fair, had uh, sandwiches with the fresh tomatoes. You'd never want to get, and they got rid of it. And they put that crappy crepe store, a crepe thing in there with the worst crepe, that brisket thing that was the worst thing I've ever had at the fair. And they got rid of that place. And that place was awesome. They, that crepe place was a crap place. They should get rid of that. Now, I meant to say onion. Sorry about that. I get talking, something I forget. 
Um, but with my grandma and the relish tray, she would have other stuff. She would have pepperoncini. That's how I discovered pepperoncinis from my grandmother. That was stuff was fantastic. Mom would buy it sometimes. I know my dad would. My dad would buy the uh, veggie mix. That's usually from Bellevue. And it, it would be like, you know, the main thing, just regular stuff, including cauliflower. And the cauliflower was always yellow because the brine it was yellow. And they have like the cherry peppers in there. And those were always the hottest ones, in my opinion. Back then, anyways. But I got off a tangent. I, I think these are 10 out of 10. I, I really like these. I mean, there's a little bit of sweetness before the heat, heat kicks in. But I give a 10 out of 10 to Hengstenberg, Hengstenberg a Hot Spicy Crunchy Gherkins. I like this video. I want to thank you, uh, Travis Pestor, for being kind of sending to me. And I'll add a little bit of story for some fun. Um, so until next time, bye, please. Take care of my legion.